Hello, I'm Dreaded Entity, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the Barrow Trauma Save Decompressor to break open your save file and do edits to it. Uh, there's not a lot of reasons why you might want to do this, but if you're anything like me, you have gotten the game and you really enjoyed it, and then you found out that there's a lot of upgrades that you want to make to your sub that you just can't do in game. So to highlight that, I've started a new game here with the Dugong, and if those of you guys that have used the Dugong before, you probably can tell something is a little weird right now. I have taken everything out of it, so there's nothing here. Uh-oh, we can't do anything like that. So what are we going to do? Okay, first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to Google or your search engine of choice. You're going to type in Barrow Trauma Save Decompressor like that it doesn't have to have the hyphens and you're looking for this page it's a github page and the repo is by j loblet so make sure you're on this page and then to download it you're going to scroll down a little where it says installation click here the latest release and then you can get the self-contained one i believe just download that and then extract it and open it up and what it will give you is this so we're not quite done yet. Now we've got to open up two other things. First thing is where your save games are located. So if you go in here and you're going to go to percent local app data like this, local app data. And then you're going to find Datalic Entertainment, Barotrauma, and there's your saves. The other thing you want to get to is where your submarines are. Where are the submarines? So they're in the Steam files. So I'll just click up here so you can see it. Go to the Steam. Uh, if you have a different library other than the default one, go to that library, find the Barotrauma game, and then go into submarines. So if I just back up, here's the Barotrauma folder. There's submarines. All your submarines are here. So. What are we going to do now? Uh, just to show you guys that save game that I was in, I made that a multiplayer one. Uh, it doesn't matter. It could be your solo campaign. So go into the decompressor. Now the way you decompress this, notice it says decompression up here, hit browse and click on the dot save file, open hit decompress. Now look over here. It made a folder. Inside is the sub that you're currently uh, got out and this game session.xml. Both of these are very important. So let's see, what am I going to do here? Um, let's say I, I want to make this a humpback, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. Actually, I'll show you guys one that I'm kind of working on uh, version two humpback. So all you're going to do is go into your subs folder, copy this, put it over here put it in your folder, your, your save folder that you decompressed. Okay. Now your, your new sub is in there. The one that you're working on, right click here and um, be a good idea to have notepad plus plus. You can do this with regular notepad. It's, it's not a big deal. And then just hit um, edit. Cause we're going to edit this file. Cause what are we doing here? We have to make the sub active, what our active sub is. So if you go right here, um, notice that, uh, not, not right there. It's here. The submarine is the dugong empty, right? But I want to have my humpback version two. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to add it. Uh, I'd, I'm not sure exactly if this step is required, but I'll just go like this and then close that tag. But this one right here, I know for a fact is the important one. And you're just going to change this to the name of your sub as seen in the file name, right? So this humpback space version two, humpback space version two, humpback space version two right there. Go ahead and sit, hit save. And then we can close that. We don't need that anymore. Let's go back to the compressor and decompressor. And all we're going to do now is browse, find that folder. It's only going to show folders, I believe. Hit select folder and then compress. There you go. See, it's a success there. 
and notice it's 9-11, time is 9-11, good. So we're probably good. So let's go back to the game and hit um, host server because this is a multiplayer game. Start. Let your server load up. And we're gonna load up my campaign. Look, notice how it's already updated here, Humpback version two. And go ahead and get in. 75 years later. Cool, so you can already see that's definitely not a dugong. <laughs> and it's definitely not empty. Let's go down and just make sure. Um, something that I do wanna point out is if you are going to do this while you have the server open, it's a good idea to actually go back to the main menu because I had an issue where the game crashed. I, I, I don't know why, I, but just go back to the main menu and you see I was at the main menu and we loaded up just fine. Cool, so that is how to decompress your save file and edit it. I don't want to show off too much of my sub because I'm hopefully want, want to publish this and people will want to use it. Um, but yeah, hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up if you want to. Now, I do want to point out that uh, th there's not a lot of reasons why you'd want to do this. Uh, it's mostly cheating. I kind of consider this to be one of the more legitimate uses for it. I don't know if you noticed in that XML file, you, you can actually just directly set the amount of money that you have. So really, if you're going to be in that XML file, it's probably for cheating purposes. But um, another thing you can do is just buy the sub. Uh, let's see if the sub is here in your submarines file, then it'll show up as buyable up in the station with the sub guy. Let me just see where's this guy. Oh yeah, it doesn't show up because I already own it. Oh well. Cool, so thanks you guys for watching. I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you when I got some more tips.